Hi, it's Rachel and it's been oh, most of the year that I've not done an update and probably because I've not really done that much stitching. I've um, been quite busy, I've been decorating my home, I've changed jobs and just been doing some other hobbies as well in between. So there hasn't really been too much to share but I thought it's the end of the year and it would be nice to just have a little roundup of the very limited progress that I've made. Um, so I will attempt to share those. I've also got a new stitching buddy um, who is here and he's probably going to interfere with the video. But this is my kitten Luna. I've had her for I think for three, three weeks now or four weeks and I'm hoping she looks nice and sleepy so I'm hoping that she stays sleepy because otherwise um, she's just going to pounce on everything but let's have a go anyway so when I um, made my very ambitious plans in April none of them happened by the way um, I did I did start off well I was almost finished with um, Passion Ricamo's fairy guide so I did finish that so and the little kitten's waking up come here little kitten you can stay there right so this is her finished i will try i don't think oh there we go just about you can see her she's very heavily beaded um so there's beads on her wings um she's got a necklace and earrings she has a bracelet and then her whole dress, you can see there's beads at the top there and then as it goes down, let's see, you can see the gold beads more than the purple beads I think because there's a lot of purple metallic in there as well but I think you can see down the, the outside there and then all around the edges of her dress as well which goes on forever so that is her really pleased with getting her done she's um, she's been a whip for a good while so I just need to get frames now so I did do that one and she's all sparkly as well but it really never picks up on the camera. I don't know whether. Yeah, not really. But it's virtually all the stitches apart from the grey is blended with petite treasure braid. I think there's something like 13, 14 different petite uh, treasure braids in that piece. Then the only other one I've finished since um, I spoke to you last is my margarine basting piece which I finished yesterday so yesterday was 30th of December so last one of the year which brings my sad total for the year only three finishes but that's okay I really really like this one I love all of the margarine basting designs so that's the second one that I've completed. So I don't know whether I don't know whether to start another one next year or not. So I think I've got enough going on at the minute in terms of whips. So I'm I'm undecided whether I'm going to do a new one for New Year or not. I'm going to try and get a close up on some of these elements so you can see them. But this one came together pretty fast. These um, designs put out by Lanart are really easy to do. There's very little back stitch. It's all full stitches. There's no half stitches or quarter stitches, anything like that. So, so that's my other one. And then. The only other thing I've worked on, because I finished this yesterday, 
is I picked up um, Royal Holiday, so it's still got pattern on it. But I've made some progress on her. Um, I've done this bit coming down here. Um, I've brought these red stitches down and then most of the gold colours across here is all new. So I've put a few hundred stitches in the last couple of days. Um, but that's about it really. Haven't, as I say, haven't really been stitching um, apart from I did lots following my previous video and then just had a big break from it. So um, whilst I was doing things like getting settled in my new job and just doing various other things, but I'm hoping to do more next year. So my plans are, I'm going to do whip go again and probably stick with the same board. Um, well, I am sticking with the same board. So Jesse pulled two numbers out. Um, one of them is Old Castle Stories, which is one of the ones, um, it's a digital pattern that I got um, by a Russian designer, I think. Um, I started that as part of 2020 Mania. And little Luna's playing with my pattern now. Just let me get that and save it. Oh my goodness. Right. <laughs> Otherwise it will be in pieces. Um, and now she wants this. <laughs> I knew this wouldn't work too well as soon as she woke up. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm going to do whip go. Two numbers have been called. Now I did have third house artistry on there, so I, I was working on it anyway, and I just carried on working on it because it's been called. So I'm going to mark that off as green. I know it's not the start of the year yet, but the numbers were called. Because the other things on there are pretty ambitious. Um, probably won't get them all done, but I'm going to leave them as they are. Royal Holidays on there as a finish. It's like a munchkin. It's wide awake now. Um, and some of my others that have barely got any stitches on there are also down as finishes. So we'll see how it goes. Probably do some magical stitches as well. And then it's, magical stitches is not as prescriptive this year. Um, so I think it will be easier to focus on pieces for my whip go and pieces that I want to get finished. But that's about it. Um, so I wish you all a happy new year and hopefully it won't be as long next time and I will be able to continue doing some videos. I know several people have said they missed the videos and I'm sorry about that but there really wasn't very much to show. Um, but hopefully you've enjoyed the finishes and... Um, have stitching. Alright, bye!